What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so grateful that you're here with me today. Today's video is a little different, but not really. I posted on my Instagram earlier today about how I want to continue making helpful and meaningful content for my subscribers. So I had an idea this morning to create a kind of series on my channel where I answer your individual questions and I film a YouTube video answering it. So simple, easy, but hopefully super helpful for you guys. And now all of these questions are obviously going to stay on the topics that my channel is based on. Fitness, health, wellness, food, nutrition, and now more recently, jujitsu. So the first question that I'm going to answer today is from Madeline. And Madeline asked, how long is one typically a white belt, say, if you train twice a week? I thought this was a great question because I feel like if you're doing jujitsu, it's important to know and kind of get an idea of how long each belt rank takes to complete. Jujitsu is a long, tough journey. And I think as a beginner, it's just a good idea to have an idea of how long this thing is going to take. But remember, obviously the end goal is for forever. The end goal is to never stop doing jujitsu. <laughs> also remember, this may be the most important statement that I make in this whole video is jujitsu is all about enjoying the journey, even the super tough time. So don't focus so much on how long you're going to be at each belt rank. That kind of ruins the journey for you. Just focus on having a good time, learning, getting better, making your better like I said even when times are tough you're only making yourself better so focus on the journey and not so much on how long you're spending at each belt short answer it depends typically they say the average time spent at white belt is anywhere from say one to two years but I have also known people that have spent less than a year at white belt each time spent at a specific belt rank is so individualized and it's so personal and it is truly different for each individual person. I would say on the lower end of that bracket, say the six months to a year people, you're probably training at least four or five, maybe six times a week, or you have some sort of background that will help you out with jujitsu like wrestling or judo because a lot of those techniques can easily transition into jujitsu. Now for the specific question that you're asking about training twice a week, I would say you're gonna probably be at white belt for at least a year and a half to two years, but it, it depends, it depends. <laughs> Ideally, I would say especially as a beginner, but honestly throughout the whole rank system of jujitsu, you want to make it there at least three days a week. But for white belt specifically, because everything is so new and it takes a long time to fully understand the techniques that you're learning and for them to stick in your brain, in my opinion, twice a week is... It's rough. Three times a week is really gonna be helpful for you to really retain that information. But if you can only make it there twice a week, obviously do what you can. Twice a week is absolutely better than zero times a week. So it's better that you're there no matter what. And if you are only there twice a week, really try to make the most out of the time that you're there. Are you really truly drilling the entire time and trying to understand the movement? Are you rolling every single round? or do you maybe take a round off every other round or every two rounds? Are you asking your coach or your professor questions? And are you reaching out to your coach either after class or some other time to ask him or her how you can be better or what you can do to get better? Remember, your coach is there to help you. Your coach wants to see you improve and your coach wants you to move from that white belt stage to blue belt. So I hope this answers your question. You may spend a little bit more time at White Belt just because of the amount of time that you're spending there. If you can, if you have the time, try to make it there at least one more time per week. If you can't, then really try to get the most out of each session that you're doing by one, again, drilling and really trying to understand the movements as you're drilling it. Two, 
get in every single round that you roll. Every single roll is an opportunity for you to learn. Ask your professor questions and four, reach out to your professor and ask him or her how you can be better and what you can do to keep improving. So guys, I'm going to keep making these videos. So DM me on Instagram your questions, leave a comment with a question, email me with a question, reach out to me however you feel comfortable and I will continue making these videos for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, I will see you guys next time.